How you going guys? Uh, I'm doing a mount for my Lawrence Hook 2.7. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get stuck into that in a second. Um, I'm doing, I'm gonna try in hull for starters. Um, I've heard some news that the side scan won't work properly. Um, I've taken that into consideration, tried to adjust accordingly. Uh, I'm gonna test it out and see if it works once I get it in there. I have already done that mount because the sealant that you use to do it takes about three days to actually cure. So I did that a couple of days ago. That's now currently mounted. Um, and, you know, fingers crossed, we'll see how we go with that when it's uh, when it's all fitted. But for now, I'm gonna sit the RAM mount and uh, get the, the, the unit situated, um, run the power cables and see how it all looks when it's all powered up. So I've just drilled some five mil holes into the hull, just where I'm gonna put the, the bolts through for this bottom round mount here. This is like a little uh, Hobie cable running mount type thing. You drill the hole into the uh, into the hull again, and it allows you to seal up, so no water gets in a large hole. Um, that also runs the cables through, so it's pretty pretty nifty little thing. Um, yeah, so I've got to put that in in a sec and run the cables through. So with a little uh, little, little mounting kit you get with this, you get a little seal, a little gasket, a rubber one, three screws, and then a bunch of bungs, a bunch of bungs that go inside, um, go inside each three holes of, uh, of the thing. So one has a hole in it that will allow you to run cabling. The other ones are just plugs so that you can either run or not run cabling through. So they give you the kind of option to seal up the whole hull again, which is uh, really, really clever. And uh, definitely a useful idea. So, yes. So obviously we put the, you've got the little step there so that actually sits on the whole thing. It sits nice and snug on there. In theory, it's nice and snug on there. Just like so. And then you can just screw it straight into the hull. That's all sealed up and uh, she'll be apples. Just as I was suspecting, have just enough hatch clearance uh, to be able to get the hatch open and, and grab stuff if I need. I've mounted the cable uh, mounting. I was going to go two cables through one hole, but I just found that that didn't work very well, so I've just done one each, one in each hole sort of thing. Uh, just enough length of cable to be able to move the, uh, the unit wherever I need. Um, I've cut another hole, um, so I've routed the cabling. I've put it all the way through, so I went in the hole, all the way through the inside of the hole, back out the original uh, hole that I've put in here. So that's sort of catching you up, getting up to date. I've got another, uh, you know, the three-way plug kit that they uh, they sell over at Hobie Dan. Uh, pretty helpful, those guys. The wife picked this one up for me off of work. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll just keep going with it. I'm gonna put this uh, three-port in here, um, offer up the transducer.
That's awesome. Alright, so that's going to sit low enough to go past the bottom of the hull. They come only with this here. Okay, so when you buy the railblazer stuff, you've got to make sure you have enough length. You can buy an extendable one if you want. I just went with a base, like this fixed extension. So basically you get another one of these separate. Okay, so this bit, this bit, this elbow join is the transducer mount kit. This is a separate part, and the extra one is a separate part as well. Okay, so it's it's really, really good system. And the one nitpick I have with it is they don't sell the whole thing mountable as a kit, like, for example, this side mount with everything here as a kit. I guess it's probably because there are that many different kayaks or that many different applications that it might not be practical to do it that way, and I can understand that. Um, but just the issue that I had with it is... If I bought a ram mount one, it's got the attachment for, for the kayak itself. You can bolt it directly on there, onto the, onto the body of the kayak, and then it just ball mount moves around however you want to. Um, and it's about 75 bucks. The issue I had with this one when I tried to buy it is there wasn't any in stock because of you know, unforeseen circumstances. It's a bit of a whinge, but that's about it really. But having said that, if I want to move this, I can. If I want to change something or put something else on this part if i get a railblazer accessory i can i've also got um you know if i buy extension rails and stuff like that i can put booms on for other gopros and stuff like that so there's a lot of upgradability i guess you would say with railblazer stuff so um or just customization i guess you would say so it's a little bit more flexible in that way i guess you would say so yeah um, so yeah, I like ram mount for this sort of stuff. Really good. Railblazer, equally good. There's pros and cons with each one. So make your mind up which one you prefer. I do do like this, it looks good. So yeah, all uh, all that there is now is to sort of do a bit of a, you know, a practical field test, I guess you would say. Get it out on the water and have a look at it. And that's pretty much it. So that's the install guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Next uh, Next bit of footage will be out on the water testing it out. Bam! What do you peoples? I'm out at uh, Patterson Lakes again, trying out the new Hook 2 7 sounder. Just trying to work it out, really. Just trying to see if I can, uh, you know benefit from the readings and everything like that see if I can find schooled fish things like that so beautiful day out to be on the water happy as Larry Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh. Get out of there. Come on. There we go. Finally got something. Nice brim. It's a good brim. Fat. I 
didn't bring my net with me either. That's not a bad brim. Probably 30. 30, 33 maybe. Beautiful. Finally, something to go home with. Beautiful. Lovely fish. Ah, that was hard going, but I finally, fun, fan, finally got one. Just found some stuff on the bottom here. It looks like it might be something. I have another crack. Just bounce this off the bottom again. Let's see if it's anything wanting to have a play. Rightio guys, it was a cracking day out on the water, beautiful, beautiful weather, first of the best weather I think we've had uh, for a long while this year. Thanks for watching the Hook 27 install video, I really appreciate the view. Uh, I found small groups of fish with the sounder, which is great news, it's working well. Wasn't able to uh, land any fish, I did hook up on one, didn't get it on film unfortunately. As I'm learning the features of the unit, I will keep you guys in the loop with that. As we go in further videos, I'm looking forward to getting out on uh, on some large snapper and stuff like that uh, once they start rolling into shallow reefs and stuff like that around the Ricketts Point and Black Rock area. I'm going to look at targeting, maybe Princess Pier as well around the poles. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments, of course, about this video today. Uh, if you've got something out of it, don't forget to like it, share it if you will, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Just keep flicking.